What happened with Li Lianhua, Li Xiangyi? Su Xiaoyang found Li Lianhua unconscious outside the Lotus Tower and took care of him. He woke up three days later. Li Lianhua managed to connect the dots between Boy and Hui, Nanyan, Karmic Bugs, and Wan Sheng Clan. After the showdown between the Sigu Sect and Jinyuan Alliance, it was the Wan Sheng Clan who reaped the most benefits. Li Lianhua started to suspect that Chen Guda was related to the Wan Sheng Clan because when he was young, Chen Guda used a jade pendant with the shape of the Wang Sheng Clan's mark. Li Lianhua finally met Chen Guda when he came to Fang Duobing. Chen Guda wanted to persuade his son to join his side. Li Lianhua saw him, Chen Guda, alive and well. His eyes started to teary, not because he was happy to see him, but because of anger and disappointment. Li Lianhua had been looking for Chen Guda for ten years, and now Li Lianhua had to face the fact that Chen Guda had betrayed him, their sect, and their master. Later on in their second meeting, Shen Gudo admitted that he killed their master, Shi Mushen. Shen Gudo also tricked Shi Mushen to cede his inner force to Shen Gudo. After the fight, Li Lianhua embedded his Shaoxi sword on a cliff. Li Lianhua and Feng Duobing went to do fortress to see the ruined building and met the master who begged for help from him. They learned that the karmic bugs existed at different levels and the mother bug could control. Other bugs. Later, Li Lianhuan and Feng Duobing investigate the death of He Xiao Feng's husband. They found out it was related to the Ice Shard. Li Lianhuan and Feng Duobing continue with the investigation of the tattoo on Liangyi Xianzi's body. They got help from Feng Duobing's father, who recognized the picture as the map of the Imperial City a hundred years ago. Li Lianhuan asked for Minister Feng's help to enter the capital city. With the help of Princess Jialing, Li Lianhua stayed at the palace so he could carry on the investigation. Because Li Lianhua suspected that the mother bug was inside the royal palace, his suspicion was proven when he met the demon monk who already entered the palace as the benefactor of the Empress Dowager. Although he was fast, Li Lianhua was still a step late because Shen Gudo already entered the palace as one of the occult pagoda craftsmen. Shen Gudao had already found that the mother bug was hidden in the pagoda of bliss, which had been missing for years. However, Li Lianhua and Feng Duobing managed to find the pagoda and also unravel the big secret behind the mystery of the pagoda. The emperor of Daxi was not a descendant of royal blood. Instead, he was the son of Nanyan sorcerer Feng Alu and consort Ying. The secret shocked the emperor, who was there because the demon monk persuaded him to catch Li Lian Hua. Later, Zhou Liqiao made a move to Li Lian Hua. She bewitched Yan Biqiu to kill Li Lian Hua. Yan Biqiu stabbed Li Lian Hua right in the chest. When Li Lian Hua woke up, he was already at Zhao Liqiao's lair. He spent several days there, only accompanied by a pair of teenagers who guarding the dungeon with some trick. Li Lianhua managed to get out of the dungeon and saved Du Feisheng, who was imprisoned as well. They hide inside the wedding room and find a secret of destroying the mother karmic bug. The next day was supposed to be Zhao Liqiao and Du Feisheng's wedding day. Feng Duobing led the men from Sigu Sect to find Li Lianhua. At this time, he already revealed that Li Lianhua was Li Xiangyi. They were restrained by Yan Biqiu's mechanism. But after a chaotic fight, Du Feisheng killed Zhao Liqiao. Meanwhile, Yan Biqiu was arrested by the men from Sigu Sect. Li Lianhua, Du Feisheng, and Feng Duobing led the men from the Sigu Sect and Tianji Hall to help the emperor. Feng Duobing went to find the Rama vessel containing the mother bug. Du Feisheng deals with Feng King and the demon monk. Meanwhile, Li Lianhua fights Xin Gudao to avenge his master. Although Shen Gudao had acquired their master's inner force, he was not Li Lian Hu's opponent. When Feng Duobing rushed to bring the Rama vessel, Du Fei Sheng immediately cut Shen Gudao's hand and dripped the blood to the mother bug. The mother bug was raised by Consort Zhuan's blood and could only be destroyed by her descendant's blood. However, Feng Duobing and Shen Gudao's blood could not destroy it. Feng King was shocked because it meant that Shen Gudao was not a descendant of the Nanyin royal family. But the shock had not ended yet. 
The secret behind Li Lian Hua's background is finally revealed when Madame Ji comes and uses Li. Lian Hua's blood to destroy the mother bug. It turned out that Li Lian Hua was the real descendant of Prince Fengji and Consort Zhuan. Li Xiangyi and his brother Li Xiangxian were saved after their family was killed by bandits. They were found by Shang Gudao who helped the siblings, unfortunately. Li Xiangxian died of illness before he died. Li Xiangxian gave his jade pendant to Shang Gudao and told him to take care of Li Xiangyi. Chi Mushin found them and took them to Union Mountain. Their master was Li Xiangyi's father's friend, so he knew clearly about the origin of Li Xiangyi. Meanwhile, Shen Gudao was only a beggar who did not remember much because of a fever. Feng King failed to recognize his real master because he looked for him based on the jade pendant. At the end of the day, Shen Gudao died at the hands of Li Lianhua. Li Lianhua gave the sticks flower to the emperor as a sign of his loyalty and to release the Feng family because Shen Gudao's coup had implicated Feng Duo Bing's family. After that, Li Lianhua reclaimed his identity as Li Xiangyi to save Yan Bikyu from execution. He knew that Yan Bikyu pretended to be bewitched by Zhao Likia so she would lower her guard and quietly sabotage their plan. He also saved Yan Bikyu from Zurong who's poison with his lush shard of inner power. But it was not over again. When Li Lianhua decided to leave and face his death, Xiao Zijin found him. He accused Li Lianhua of hiding Kia Wan Mayan and tried to kill him. Li Lianhua explained that he had moved on from the past to prove it. Li Lianhua broke his Shaoxi sword and jumped into the river. Before he jumped, Li Lianhua told Xiao Zijin that his suspicion and lack of trust disappointed Kia Wan Mayan. Since he left, Feng Duobing never stopped looking for him until the day of the duel. Li Lianhua knew that Du Fei Sheng and Feng Duobing would be waiting for him at the designated place, so he asked somebody to deliver a letter for them to Du Fei Sheng. Li Lianhua wrote that he admired him and regretted that he could not fulfill his promise. He said that Feng Duobing was a talented person and that one day he would surpass Li Xiangyi. And when the time has come, he could challenge him. Yet, in Du Fei Sheng's heart, nobody could replace Li Xiangyi. 最不舍得是那一个瞬间。就在江湖之上，万里风光，谁不曾流浪？谁不是守着聚散的缘，隔天涯上月亮、啊？就在江湖之上，少年轻狂，千杯不醉如愁肠。江湖之上，万里风光，谁不曾流浪？谁不是守着聚散的缘，隔天涯上月亮？就在江湖之上，少年轻狂，千杯不醉，如愁肠。人间一趟如梦一场，江湖笑。